If you're looking to hit the golf ball longer, straighter, and far more consistently, then you're in the right place because I'm gonna show you how you can use your feet correctly in the backswing in order to A, start your swing with momentum and B, generate a centered pivot. This is gonna transform your game. It's the secret the tour pros know, and it is so simple. Whether you're a golfer who struggles with a stationary backswing that gets very armsy, or maybe you sway massively off and get stuck on your trail foot, or maybe even you collapse onto your left leg, all of these can be fixed by understanding understanding good footwork. Now, what is footwork? How can we simplify this down? Footwork is essentially pushing in and out of the ground in certain directions in order to encourage a weight shift and rotation. Now, here's the thing. It is actually very, very simple. I know it sounds quite a daunting thing to understand, but you are already doing it already because it is physically impossible to swing a golf club without pushing into the ground. So if you're already doing it already, we've got to understand how to do it. And in fact, we do it in every single day of our lives. When you walk, you are doing it. So how can we do this? What is the concept? How can we simplify it down? Well, in simple terms, if I want to move my body in a certain direction, my feet have to push in the other direction. Here's how I can illustrate this. If I was to stand here just like so, and I was to lift my left leg up and I was to say, right, I want to move to my left. Oh, if I can maintain my balance. I want to move to my left. Well, in order to do that, to send my body this way, I have to push from my right foot to my right. So you see how I pushed. I'll, I'll do it with a red arrow for where my foot pushed, green arrow for where my body went. I pushed with my foot this way. It sent my body towards the target. Think of it this way. If you're walking, you are pushing each foot backwards as you then project your body forwards. Kind of like a rocket. A rocket pushes loads of force down that allows the rocket to go up is done in everyday life. So how does this apply to our goal swing? Well, very simply in the back swing, we need to understand what is the left leg doing? What is the right leg doing? And it's actually two things. One happens to start, the other happens as we go to the top of the back swing. And it is so simple. So let's start with the very first thing. How do we start our swing with momentum? Because this is something I see so many golfers get wrong and it puts them on the back foot straight away. So the first thing is, there are loads of different swing triggers. You have golfers that do like a Gary player knee kick in. I like to do that, it feels best for me. You have golfers like Rory McIlroy who have a big push off the left foot. Now here's the thing, they may appear to be different, but if you were to strip my body away and just look at how my feet are pushing, they are pushing in exactly the same direction. Here's the direction that happens. So what I want to do to simplify this is imagine I'm in a giant clock face. You at home are 12 o'clock, behind me is six o'clock, three o'clock, nine o'clock. In order for me to have this little sort of shift to start my swing, which every single golfer does, I'll, I'll explain that more in a second, I have to push with my lead leg towards nine o'clock, which sends my body towards three o'clock. Red arrow, which is where my foot is pushing, goes that way, my body then goes the other way. This is what allows us to kickstart our swing with momentum. Now let's take two golfers, Rory McIlroy, Justin Rose. Rory McIlroy, as we know, is very, very active with, our, with his feet, hence why he hits the ball a mile. He has a big push off. He really pushes off that left foot. So that means that he is doing the same movement. He is just applying more force with that left foot to push him off more. Now, for most golfers, that's going to be way too much. We want to look at someone like a Justin Rose who does that same movement. He just does it very subtly. Left foot pushes towards nine o'clock, body then goes towards three o'clock. And that just kickstart your swing with momentum. Otherwise, you're going to look like this and you're not going to have any speed to your swing. So the key with that is it's not about how much you do it. It's about the direction that you're doing it and understanding that you're doing it. You could do it a tiny amount. That's perfect. You could do it a lot. That's fine. You just have to understand what we are doing in order to kickstart the swing with momentum. And that happens very quickly and it also is over very quickly. So once I've done this, so I'm pushing with my left foot away from me and that's done there. So everything is done to this point and the right leg is staying very passive. How can we train this? Before we get onto the rest of the backswing, how can we train this? Find a swing trigger that works for you. Whether that be a little kick in with the right leg and then pushing off the left or whether that just be straight pushing off the left, find a trigger that works for you. Any trigger is a good trigger as long as it follows that principle of the left foot pushing towards nine o'clock, which sends the body slightly towards three o'clock. Now, if you want the part two, which is where I talk about transition and the downswing, drop a comment down below. And if I get enough comments, I will do that. So we've started the swing off with momentum. We are on a great track already. How do we then go from this position here to the top of the backswing to where we start to recenter? We set ourselves up beautifully with great rotation and also in a great position to then transition on the way down. Well, we need to understand now 
what happens after this point. So once we do that push off, the left foot then really reduces in the amount it pushes and the right foot then takes over. It's as if the left foot hands the baton to the right foot. So the right foot then literally just does the opposite. It goes and pushes towards three o'clock, which then sends my body back towards the target, towards nine o'clock, which gives me that good hip rotation. It gives me a nice center pivot. And then from there, it allows me to start to shift on the way down. And it literally is as simple as that. If we were to boil it down into two sensations, it is the left foot is pushing towards nine o'clock to start the swing, which gives me that little weight shift. And then the right foot pushes towards three o'clock, which sends my body back towards the target. Now, let me just run through a couple of situations where this can really help you. If you are a golfer, and this is by far the most common one, who looks like this at the top of the backswing, whether you have laterally swayed off or even reverse pivoted, I will bet my life savings on the fact that your right foot is not pushing hard enough towards three o'clock. If it was, you wouldn't be in that position. So if you are any golfer who is laterally swaying in the backswing by the time you're at the top, then you have not pushed hard enough or early enough towards three o'clock. So you wanna be here and you wanna be feeling like your foot is pushing in that direction. So it looks like this, push off the left, push off the right. And you can see as I do that, that starts to get me into a good position where I can shift. Now again, some golfers will have a bigger shift off, so then it might take them longer to push off the right. Other golfers who are more stack and tilt might push off a little bit earlier. But it does not take away from the fact that the left foot to start the swing pushes towards nine o'clock and the right foot straight after that then pushes towards three o'clock, which gets me recentering. This is what gives you that fluid look. This is what gets you recentering. This is what increases your clubbing speed. This is what helps you get that great pivot. It's a non-negotiable of the goal swing. And if you understand that simple concept, it's gonna simplify it down. Now, a really simple drill to help you learn this movement is simply grab an alignment stick, place it in some sort of a holder. I've got a basket here and place it just outside your right hip. So you can see I've got this about two finger widths outside my right hip. Now, whether you are a golfer who wants to have a bigger weight shift or a smaller weight shift, you can sort of customize this down. Smaller weight shift might go you know, one finger, bigger one might go two fingers. But essentially what you are gonna feel like is you have a little push off that left foot. So push towards nine o'clock, sends the body towards three o'clock, just to where you close up the gap, maybe even touch that alignment stick there. Now, as soon as you've done that, you wanna feel like your right foot then pushes to three o'clock, which then sends your body away from this alignment stick and allows you to swing all the way through. So let me actually hit one for you. So that is how we use our feet correctly in the backswing. Get it right and it's gonna transform your ball striking. Now, if you want the part two, which is where I talk about transition and the downswing, drop a comment down below. And if I get enough comments, I will do that. If you need more one-to-one -one help for online coaching on this skill, this platform, the link is down below, as well as a free practice guide. So grab that. Again, the link is down below. And if you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and subscribe. And I hope to see you back here soon.